Hey there, event marketers. Jessica Heasley here. Welcome to another episode of EM All Access, where we connect you with some of the industry's most innovative events and the marketers behind them. Today's episode is sponsored by GES, a global full service provider of live events and it focuses on the changing general session. Gone are the days of packing attendees into static ballrooms. Today's general sessions are high tech, high touch, and moving faster than ever. I spoke with GES Vice President Jeff Youngs about the evolution of the general session, how the format is changing, and what's next. Let's listen in. How has the typical general session changed? Because of the way people are engaging nowadays, I mean, they have a screen in front of them at all times um, and, and they take things in quick bites, we, we've kind of needed to readjust how we look at general sessions and, uh, you know, in order to grab the attention of somebody and really hold it, uh, we use whatever means necessary. So technology uh, has changed quite a bit actually in the last 10 years, uh, what you can get for a general session. Um, you know, screens can be configured in any number of ways. Um, there are LED panels that you can use instead of screens. Um, and these are just different uh, visual techniques just to have, hold people's attention. But there are a lot of others, including the handheld device, you know, because that's now a way that people can interact with what's going on on stage and, and be a part of the program themselves. Are there some ways um, between the content and maybe the duration of content and thinking about how that's delivered that smart marketers are are changing their general ses general sessions to kind of fit into a different kind of format? Uh, yeah, actually, that's happening a lot. Uh, you know, there's a thing called um, speed rounds, where you can, oh, that's one name for it, uh, where members of a team can deliver a presentation like five minutes at a time, boom, 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 and go through the entire topic. But you get a different person delivering each different aspect of the topic. And it's a, it's a way to just to keep the message moving, keep things flowing. What are some of the catalysts driving this change? I think um, we all know TED Talks are very popular. Is that one of the things that are making the attendee expectation different? A absolutely. You know, TED Talks are you know, 20 minutes. And uh, they're engaging, and they have simple visuals. Uh, and, and they're uh, recognized as being great talks for the simple reason that they are. They're well constructed, they're well crafted. And so clients are beginning to see that, that that's a good thing. And they take their time to, to develop and craft a, a, a talk in that way. Um, and then you, you know, can stage it that way in a half round and a nice pool of light. And uh, it's, it's a great technique because it's something people are familiar with, uh, so it's comfortable. Um, and it uh, delivers big, big topics, if you will, in a concise way. It's nice. You had talked about mobile. Um, what role is social media playing in general sessions now? You know, it's really interesting. You can do a lot of different things with it, but the main thing that people are doing is using it to crowdsource uh, content. You know, uh, what kind of information uh, can can the audience be providing to? add color to what's going on on stage. Obviously, it needs to be carefully curated and, and uh, detailed out in a way that it's safe for, for the presenters, uh, but it can be done. And it's also a way for um, uh, people in general sessions to be communicating out to the larger world uh, if it's something that's public facing uh, to, to just talk about how exciting they are being there. It's, a, it's an amplification um, method. And how big is the role of live streaming going to become for general sessions? Well, it's, it's already big, and just because it's uh, more affordable, I think it's going to be bigger and bigger. And, and that's both ways. So you can live stream your event out to the internet or to specific locations if you want to have a, uh, you know, a, corporate, company, a corporate meeting, uh, but your people are located all over the world. You can live stream it to various locations around the world or even to everybody's desk if you want to. Uh, that's one way. Uh, but the other thing that's happening is people don't have to be at the meeting to speak at it. You can live stream a speaker from another location. Uh, so many, many general sessions are being done simultaneously in multiple cities and then broadcasting back and forth between one another so that they're uh, so stitching together a whole general session over three continents. 
That's very cool. What are some other twists on general sessions that you've that you've seen or or that you've produced over the years? Another thing with handheld devices is um, audience response. Now it used to be uh, that was kind of an onerous thing. You had to run cables everywhere, and everybody got a little device, and you could do audience response. But now you can do it with an app on, on a mobile phone and get not only um, a response, but you can get very layered and rich responses uh, by demographic of the audience and by, um, by location in the audience or by departments, things like that. So you can get a, a really deeper understanding of what's going on in their minds if you apply it appropriately. So that's one thing that's changing things a lot. Um, another is uh, general sessions are happening in all kinds of unique places. They don't have to be in a ballroom or a convention center. You know, they could be in a warehouse or an airplane hangar, or uh, those are you know, other ways of engaging people in new ways because it's unexpected. People don't, don't think of that. Screen content, micro formats, and the changing attention spans of attendees are all prime drivers pushing event marketers to redefine their general session experiences. As always, audience interaction is key, as are relevant messages, insightful speakers, and exciting stages. I'd like to thank Jeff for joining me and you for watching. Learn more about this episode's sponsor, GES, at GES.com and explore our growing library of EM All Access conversations and behind-the-scenes footage at eventmarketer.com.